Hi, this is Phil from Mac Tech Easier, and welcome to how to install Linux software on a Mac with Mac Ports. Mac Ports is a command line package manager for Mac OS. If you're familiar with apt-get or yum from Linux, then you know what a package manager does. It handles downloading, installing, updating and managing certain applications and their dependencies within Mac OS. With Mac Ports, you can install Linux applications on Mac OS from the command line. What can I install? Most of these applications are open source command line utilities, but there are a fair share of real open source GUI based applications as well. Like any package manager, MacPorts searches a library of downloadable software. When you find what you need, MacPorts downloads and installs the appropriate software and dependencies in the right place. This saves you the trouble of downloading repositories from GitHub and building software from source packages while still getting access to a wide range of Linux's best command line tools and GUI applications. If you read our post on Homebrew, you know that macOS is missing some standard Linux terminal commands out of the box. Mac users won't find common command line tools like nmap or wget and there's no native package manager on the Mac to provide them. You can also use Mac ports to install open source software like GIMP. Installing Mac ports. Mac ports requires the latest version of Xcode for your OS version. You can download Xcode from the Mac App Store or Apple's developer website. Links in the description. While you can run most of the Mac port commands without Xcode, you won't be able to run many of the packages until you install it. Installing Xcode developer tools. First open Terminal and use the command below to trigger the installation of macOS developers tools. Secondly, click Install in the pop-up box. Wait for the files to download and install. Installing the Mac ports package. If you already have the Xcode and the developer tools installed, you can jump right to this step. Firstly, download the latest release of Mac ports from GitHub. Make sure you scroll down to choose the version that matches your version of macOS. Install the package from your downloads folder. Open a new terminal window and run the command port. If that command returns macports 2.4.1 and provides a slightly different looking command prompt, then you're ready to rock. Install Linux apps with macports. To install some Linux app on macOS with macports, we will first need to search for the relevant programs. To see a gigantic list of all available packages, open Terminal and type port list and press enter. Obviously that's a lot to look through. We can use the port search command to find something specific. Let's search for nmap using the command port search nmap. That returns a few matching packages. The first one, just called nmap, is the one we're looking for. To get more information about that package, we can use the info command. That returns some specific information about nmap. That all looks good, so we can install with the command sudo port install nmap. Note the sudo prefix, which will require your admin password to fire. Depending on the package you're installing, there might be a large list of dependencies. These are software packages that your desired port relies on and you'll need to install them along with your port of choice. Type Y and press enter to accept the installation. When the installation is complete, you can run the command as you would on Linux via Terminal. Conclusion MacPorts is a powerful package manager that will connect you to a huge array of open source binaries and applications that you can download and install on demand. If you want to learn more of the application's commands, you can check out the Mac Ports Guide for more information. Link in the description. OK, as always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe and add your comments below. See you next time.